warm welcome to you all. Hope you'll thoroughly enjoy our program. Hi guys, welcome back for another quick review from uh, me, Kevin from Word in Vapors. I've got for you today the Mini Volt 40 watt, mo 40 watt box mod. Excellent little bit kit. It comes from the uh, the Council of Vapor in the States. Hang about, my dears. Won't keep you but a minute. I'm putting my singing there on, you see. I can't sing without my singing there on, can I? <laughs> That's it. Off we go. As you can see, I haven't actually put it back into the uh, into the box, but. Uh, here, here's the box as it says. It's one of these jewel case type things. I've got the black one. Uh, there you go. Anyway, let's open this up. You get inside the box, you get the usual USB to micro USB. Underneath the slide tray, you get your little manual. Oh, where are we? And you get like a... I don't know what that is, it's a QR code thing, yeah, whatever. Uh, there's your manual, and it is all in English. Here's the little little thing, and as you can see, I've got my uh, Aspire Atlantis version 2 on it. Um, it's quite a nice little thing, actually. Oh, let's turn that upside down. It's quite a nice little thing, actually. I mean, the aesthetics of the thing, it looks... It looks good. It really does. Uh, it's got a 510. The 510 is protruding somewhat, but uh, that's fine. It uh, it hasn't got a a, a floating centre pin or a, a spring loaded centre pin on there. So you know, there you go. You've got on the bottom there. You've got your USB. This black pattern is carbon a carbon fiber grip it's also got like a, a rubbery paint to it uh well that's fair enough you've got a tiny little screen and i actually do have trouble seeing that i have to pull my glasses down to have a butcher's look at it right the uh the height of the thing is 55 millimeters the width is 22 millimeters and the length of the, the device is 34 millimeters. And in the box, as I said just now, you got your your mini volt, you got a USB charger and the user manual. It's a 40 watt mod, 100 uh, sorry, 1,300 mAh lithium ion battery. It fires down to 0 0.2 ohms, which oh dear, excuse me. Which I don't actually go down as far as that these days myself. I mean, I usually stay around about 0 0.5, possibly 0 0.4. It really depends on the tank or the uh, the RDA that I'm using. It's got three different power settings on here, as you can see. Right, I've got it set at 35 watts, and it's on power. What you've got to do is you've got to hold the down button and the fire button together. And that activates your menu. Then you can flip through from soft, standard, to power. Now I leave it on power because it gives it just that little bit more of an oomph. Yeah, all right, it doesn't last very long. 1300 mile battery doesn't last very long, but well, at least not for me anyway. And it probably wouldn't do for you, uh, you heavier vapors out there. To change your wattage settings. Hold your fire button down again and your up arrow and then you can scroll through, wait till it starts flashing and then you can flip through whatever. Uh, I'm not sure how far down this goes, it, it is a 40 watt box mod, let's have a look, keep going, that's it, 5 watts, it's from 5 to 40, which is fair enough, I mean it's quite good for a tiny little thing like this. Let's bung, come on, keep going. That's it. Bung it back to 35. I know where I am then, see. There, right, well, that's that's that. I mean, you've got a little pattern on the side there where you can put your thumb or your finger even. You've got cutouts on the top here for those people 
that use tanks that still draw the airflow from the bottom of the uh, of the tank, which is fair enough. I've got I've got nothing against those types of tanks. I just happen to prefer the ones that I use. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, look, let's go back up top and uh, I'll stick a tank or two on it and you can see what she fires like. Okay, see you in a sec, guys. <laughs> Welcome back. Right, let's see if we can. I'm going to put my uh, Aspire Nautilus version 2 back on here for a moment because that's what I've been using on it actually. I mean, this is a very, very small mod. If you can. Uh, where are we? Get a, a, a battery. Now, if I put that battery up against that mod, yeah, you can see that the 18650 battery is actually bigger than the uh, than the mod itself. Now I had, I did find actually earlier on, because I don't use them anymore, but uh, now where's that gone? <laughs> oh dear. I'll put that down somewhere and I can't find the blessed thing. There, uh, no that ain't it. There we are. Sorry, I've got all my batteries in a tree holding station on here. So, there you go. Right, now, I've got a, uh, an 18500, and that is almost as big as the, uh, the mod itself. When this goes on to standby, I mean, I haven't got that much power on there at the moment, if you can see that. I'm probably going to have to charge this after this review, but when it goes on standby, you do have to click your your fire button five times to bring the screen alive again. Let's give this a toot. Wicked. Absolutely wicked. Let's, uh, I'm going to put that power down one to standard. Oh yeah, let's drop the watts down on that because I feel that that is, uh, oh what am I doing, I feel that's overstepping the bounds of the actual tank itself actually. 32 watts, let's give that a two. Oh yeah, yeah that's fine. Let's try something else on there shall we? Wee. <laughs> Put that on there. Let's find something else on here. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll stick the U well on here. Uh, it's got stainless steel coils in it. <clears throat> I've never tried it on here. So, and incidentally, I only picked this one up yesterday. Now, yes, I know normally I would bash it and, you know, really go to town on the thing but I feel so comfortable with this tiny little thing look I mean it literally just hides in your hand I mean it's great right stainless steel coil let's give this a go actually that's not bad I probably bung the uh, the what's up on that one Oh, this is so frustrating, having to hold down that fire button and press the up. I'm going to bung this right the way up to 40. See what I get. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, that really kicks, that does. Got me tugboat. Let's give that a go. I mean, it's only 40 watts on now. I'm not expecting huge clouds of uh, of vapour from this. But there you go. Right, let's put that on. The, ugh, I've got juice on my fingers. Right. There we go. Yeah, 40 watts. I've got a para, uh, double coil B 
build in there. 24 gauge cancel twisted and it comes out at 0.2 so let's give that a go. <laughs> Battery's low on it. Let me just get the uh I've got a a charge cable here. Let's bung that in. I can it is a pass through, it will work with pass through quite well actually. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh just there. I'm breaking up the happy home. Right. Okay. Well, that's about all that I can show you for this one. It's very small, yet it can handle things down as far as 0.2, which is good. The ramp modes on it, when I when I said ramp modes, I meant power uh, level settings. Soft, standard, and power. So, there you go. Let's... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, very nice. Oh, I'm in heaven. Still, there you go. Anyway, look, this is Kevin from Whirling Vapors saying you guys have a bright and pleasant day. Thank you so much for listening to my warblings. I know I do go on. It's terrible. It really is. Don't forget, cigarettes were then. Vaping is today. And today is forever. You take care. I'll see you on the next one. Let me try and vape you out. Power's down, still down on this, but... You can't please all the people all the time. But we hope we'll please most of you most of the time. Anyway, see you soon.